So hey guys, it's been a while since I last seen you guys and er, today I'll be showing you my skincare routine, sort of. A lot of people have been requesting it. So if you guys don't know, I have normal to dry skin and it's not exactly dr really dry because it's not flaky. However, I have flakes around here. I don't really care. So that's why the products that I'll be using that I'll be showing you guys is very natural based and moisturizing uh, moisturizing fun function to it. But I do get oily around my T-zone occasionally, probably when I wake up uh, in the morning or after a usage of makeup for a while. But it's not a problem for me. Without further ado, I'll be starting with the um, the things that I put on, like masks, masks, like different types of masks that I use. Favorite mask will be the Lush. Is a mask magnanimity Lush. It's a green mask and scrubs your uh, dead skin off. And I use this every other day, and I really really like it because it gives your skin subtle glow and it's kind of tingly actually not probably not all people will like it but i personally love it and it just gives you glow to your skin and it, uh, reduce your redness around my face because i do get redness and since then i've been using this since june since june and i haven't been getting a lot of redness and my skin has been really nice but not today. <laughs> the second thing that I put usually after that mask, if I feel like having the uh, spa treatment kind of thing for my skin, usually you use these sheet masks. And I this is the Honey Sasatini Honey Peach Nourishing Brightening Nourishing and Brightening Mask. I bought this while I was in Hong Kong, and, and actually it's actually my last box. If you see my Japan haul, everything there ran out except for this. I mean like the masks especially because my mom and I were like mask fanatics. I really like this one because it's just it'll, it just gives you that um silky, brightening, nourishing, smooth kind of feel to the to your skin, but any masks would do because I would personally buy any kind of mask like the tea tree one or anything Etude House bought I don't think Body Shop makes masks any kind of mask basically I would die for that sometimes if I have large pores and just you call this in Indonesian bintik bintik merah and red spots I would use the Innisfree super volcanic pore clay mask however I um, it's been a while since I had this around a year and so I feel like this gives me redness and awe I don't know, probably that's me, but I'll give an update if it does make me, uh, it does give redness to my skin. But if you have this brand new and all, this is really great. I don't have free skin, but this works wonders. It just soothes your skin and reduces pores. And people with large pores, I really recommend with this one. Actually, I recommended Carissa, and she's like, oh my god, this actually works. <laughs> First face face wash, I use the Tea Tree Cooling Creamy Wash for um, everyday face wash, face wash, <laughs> face wash because it gets rid of the redness, zits, and it prevents zits from coming from appearing because this is made out of tea tree, um, not tea tree, like the base ingredient is tea tree, and I've been using this for like two years now and I haven't been changing it and I don't have any plans on changing my my face wash because I really like this one it doesn't dry out my skin because I have kind of sort of normal to dry skin which not a lot of people actually have because people usually have oily skin well the people around me have oily skin and this is really nice because it's cool and creamy it doesn't dry, dry me out and still get that tea tree um, tea tree nourish uh, nutrients to my face so that I don't have any zits real daily skincare routine I start with a toner and a toner that I'm currently using now is the aloe body shop aloe calming toner for sensitive skin and I have used this a while back ago around like three years ago but i decided to change my toner to the um moisture vitamin a i think from body shop and i really like that one but 
this actually gives the calming the most calming to my skin and before this i used the wonder pore edgy towels wonder pore toner for like one year one and a half years two one or two years and i figured out that i should stop using that because there's alcohol um the, the, it contained alcohol and chi chi from xox so chi chi said that it's not good for your skin and you should change it i gravitate towards natural um, ingredients because i don't want my skin to feel stressed <laughs> But I'm not saying that a wonder pore is not good. It's just that a wonder pore works wonder. Like it says, it minimizes your pores. However, I personally don't need that. It's free. Again, plant-based and natural-based brand. It's from Korea and it's the Innisfree Soybean Energy Essence with Fermented Bean Extract. This, one's, this one is the Energy Essence and they have the light version for oily skin. However, I have normal to dry skin, which that's why I'm using the Innisfree Soybean Energy Essence. And usually I would use this before my toner, but after this, you'll know why I use this before. I use this after my calming toner because I use two different toners, sort of. You want this this one has two kind of uh, functions to it it can brighten your face and just gets rid of your the dull skin a uh, dull skin on your face however I don't want to waste this because it is quite expensive no it's not quite expensive at least for me it's quite expensive and I bought it was when I was in Korea last year so this is my second bottle and I'm almost running out of it but I just put this on my face and just pat, like, pat it gently gently to my face so that it moisturizes and it just gives an instant brightening effect to your face and I had I've been using for this for a year or so and I'm not disappointed with this product I would actually repurchase this until I find a better source which I am actually finding one is the tea tree lush fresh a uh, lush tea tree water and this oh my god i actually bought the small version it's the 100 grams or 100 millimeters i wanted to buy the big version but um i was in japan and japan have like really quite cheap price lush compared to lush singapore lush singapore is twice the price of the one in japan and i'm i'm really really like regretting that i didn't buy the big version my face feels smoother and less less bumpy less yeah, less bumpy. I know what kind of voca vocabulary that I have, but I really like this one because it's just um, it prevents you from having zits and reduce redness. As I said, it's, this actually both of this have I think has the same um, function to it, but it's just that this one is more natural because Lush is natural is a natural brand. Well, everything. Actually, everything, almost everything here that I'm using is natural based and all. Uh, is the Innisfree, um, the green tea seed serum. So most of my skincare rums are from Innisfree because I'm a huge fan of Innisfree. So it's the famous green tea seed serum and it's for uh, people, I think people with oily skin will be able to use this, especially in the winter. But here in Jakarta, because it's very humid and hot, um, I wouldn't recommend this, but this um, serum doesn't make your skin feel really uh, feel greasy at all. It just sinks right through to the deepest layer of your skin, as I said early uh, once. But I really like this one, and I'm actually afraid that I'll be running out because it's almost halfway through. And I just bought this while I was in Hong Kong, and. This is just a really great base for the next product that I'm using is the Innisfree, Innisfree the Green Tea Seed Cream. This actually is from, uh, from the same line, the, uh, the, the Green Tea uh, Seed line. And this one's for normal skin, but they have the oily skin one and for dry skin. But dry skin was too greasy for me and I decided to gravitate towards this one. And I'm almost running out of it repurchase this because this actually has the same um this the feeling that you get from this one is similar to the, the body shop vitamin a v vitamin e or vitamin a the pink the pink packaging 
um, moisturizer and I think it's pretty similar like the feeling of it but not the smell at all but the feeling that the texture and all I think that's really great um, alternative if you can't get a hold of this but you I'm pretty sure Indonesians can find this and and online shops through Instagram I give a link down below of the Instagram shop that I usually buy from um, if I want to get a hold of Korean products but they don't have everything but it's just that there's a mosquito you just have an a pretty pretty complete um, line of Innisfree and you can actually pre-order if I'm not mistaken this product that I use is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye so I was actually recommended by my mom and she said that it was quite good but I wasn't sure about it but yesterday actually when I, uh, I ate lunch, I ate pho with Ivan and uh, Siska and she said that my I don't have dark circles which I, I, I really think I have dark circles and right now that I see I'm not using anything this is just skincare and I have my brows on and she said that um, your under eye circles are getting better and I said that I've been using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye and this is actually brightening now that I can see the result after five months of usage and ever this is a bit pricey because I bought it in Singapore and it was like $50 or like 500 something thousand and it's very pricey but you can get a hold of this in Indonesia but I think this thing this bottle is worth it and I haven't it's not even like halfway through I still have a lot of product to use and I think I can use it for a year so it's a really great investment this is it for my skincare routine and I hope you guys like it uh, if you have any requests please comment down below give a thumbs up if you like it thank you and bye